How are you, Dan? Rich, I'm doing great, man. It's the trade deadline again already. We did this last year. Didn't we? Crazy, right? I, I think Bryce Harper, the buzz. You know the one that I'm surprised is getting so much play? Chris Archer. It sounds like the Brewers are really in on Chris Archer. The Cubs are kicking the tires on Chris Archer. So the two big names that I think that are out there, people are waiting to see if it happens. Chris Archer seems more than likely like he's going to be moved in the next two hours. And this Bryce Harper stuff, though, I can't see it, Rich. I, I just think they're five and a half games back, that being the Nationals. It's not like they're chasing the 92 or 93 Braves or the 84, 82 Phillies. The Phillies and Braves are good teams, but they would be also Rams in the AL. So I think the Nats are like one 10-game stretch, Rich, where they go 8-2 and two or 9-1, and one, and they'd find themselves three games out of first place, and they'd be right in. I would be shocked if they moved Harper. What do you think? What, what happens when uh, a player of his ilk is being thrown around and, and, and they're having a listening tour? I mean, how, uh, how, how, how does that happen? So, so what I'm saying is is a team that you say that needs to rip off 8 of 10 and 9 of 10 and that hasn't shown the ability to do that, we'll, we'll find that gumption if, if a trade doesn't happen, Dan? Um, you know what I think if I'm Bryce Harper? He's a different bird than you and I or most players because I think deep down inside – Rich, I think he really wants to test the free agent market. I don't think he's going to take a home team discount. I don't think he's going to play this thing out and go, listen, man, I've had a good run. I just won the home run derby for the Nationals. It's a good story. He's going, my opinion, Scott Boris, they're going to test the market because if they were interested at all in a discount or, hey, I want to stay here, this is where I'm comfortable, we would have heard talks about that already, and he would be squelching the fact that, listen, I, I want to play my career here. I, I'd like to stick this thing out. I think, Rich, I don't think he's going to be upset that he's getting dangled, and I think in his own little way, he might even it might even, like, fuel some fire underneath him because I don't think it's eminent that he's coming back, and I really think he's going to test the water. He wants to test the water to see what's out there for him. That's just my take. Let me ask you this question then, Dan, please, because this is going to be the three to $400 million question uh, coming up in the hot stove. If you're a general manager of a team, would you, would you uh, allocate a fifth of your, your money – that uh, that your owner is going to give you to make sure you don't go over any luxury tax, would you allocate it to Bryce Harper? Uh, boy, that's the tough question because he uh, – you know what he is? He's – I guess if you want to look at, like, certain players, their big, their brand, their branding, I think wherever he would go other than D.C., he's going to be an instant hit because – He's the one guy, you know, Mike Trout is looked at as the best player in the game, but Mike Trout is so low-keyed, you don't really know much about Mike Trout. Bryce Harper, he's on commercials, he's out there, his face is relevant, young people know who he is, so I think he's a different bird. I don't think a $400 million contract is going to be out there, Rich, but I think some teams, and it may be the Nats, Nationals, and it may be three or four other teams, I think they'd approach the 40 to 45 million a year, but I don't think anybody's going to be in for like eight to 10 years. But I could see him a four or five year deal, and I'm sure Scott Boros will have it where he could have opt outs after a year or two. I think the average annual is going to be somewhere around 40 million, but I don't think we're going to see a 10 year, $400 million guaranteed contract from one team. Mm -hmm. Several buyouts. Teams will want to take him on, but much of a shorter-term contract. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern, on Audience.